Uh, hello ladies and gents, uh, Little Smokey here doing another tutorial this time on port forwarding. Um, so basically port forwarding is so that you can host servers of any kind like Counter Strike, Venturelo, anything. <clears throat> so people can connect to you through a port number, basically like a door. Um, so like you open the door number and it's to your address. Okay. So basically what we need to do this is find two IPs. We need to find your default gateway and your IP address. <clears throat> so to do this, we need to click go to start here, uh, right there, and go to all programs, go to accessories, and click on command prompt. <clears throat> all right, now this black window should pop up, and you type in IP config. All right. So here we have the two numbers already that we were looking for. The search is done. All right, so we have this one and we have this one. This is the default gateway, as you can see, and the IP address, as you can see. All right, so now we grab this number right here, the default gateway, and we go here to start, right there, start, and go to your default browser, uh, like Internet Explorer, Firefox, in which case mine is Google Chrome. <coughs> Google Chrome is very good. You guys should try. It's pretty fast. Uh, not very many add-ons. Yeah, stuff like that. It's uh, pretty clean. So again, you grab this number right here, 192.168.1.1, and you put it in here. So 192.168.1.1. Now here it will ask you for your username and password, right? Uh, there's a default username and password for each individual type of router. Um, mine uh, for Verizon, if, if, any, if any of you have the Verizon router. Uh, the the default username and password is admin password one. Uh, sometimes it'll just ask you when you first come on this page what you want your username and password to be. Uh, you just reboot your router and it'll just ask you. So I'm gonna log into mine. <clears throat> uh, go to firewall settings and click yes yes. Uh, oh and by the way, I'll give you a site on how to figure out your default username and password if you don't know yet alright so this right here is uh, all the ports I have opened at the separate, comp separate computers uh, so this is where this number comes in right here this uh, this one right here uh, comes in handy uh, because this is your computer uh, okay so what we need to do is we need a uh, oh, by the way, for different routers, depending on which router you have, it already has it blinked out pretty much ready for you to fill in. You just fill in the IP address, the port number, uh, then you give it a service name, whatever you want. You can pretty much call it, and then you just activate it, and then you push apply. Uh, for me, uh, mine is nice enough to have it pretty much already set up. All I have to do is type in 192.168.1.6. And if I don't want to use that, I could just go down here and select my my uh, my host name right here which in my my mine right here is this I have a little smoky server already for me so that's like right next to me so yeah uh, so that's my other computer alright so then I said I was going to do counter strike or if I haven't I'm going to use counter strike as an example uh, go to counter strike <coughs> uh, so you click on counter strike and it already has these ports already oops Okay, right, so it already has all these ports already set for you. It already has a configuration set. So then all I have to do is just go down here and click apply, right? So, but I already have it open, so I'm not gonna bother doing that. All right, so I promised you the site that would give you your default username and password, and this is the site right here. It's called portforward.com. All the links will be in the description, by the way. So if you didn't get that, there you go. Um, so then go right here. Uh, port forward guides about of routing or whatever it said. I don't care. Uh, you scroll down. Uh, go to Netgear. All right. I'm just that, I'm just pulling one out of my ass here. So you go to Netgear, whatever. Go here. An ad will pop up. Pop up most likely. It did for me, so it probably will for you. Uh, click skip advertisement. Uh, then just go down here. Uh, to oh, Counter Strike because I said I was going to do that, and if I haven't, I'm going to set it again. Or if I have, I'm going to say it again. Same diff. All right. So uh, it says enter your IP, which is this right here. That one. That's the one you want to give it. Um. So you want to give them that right there. 
uh, and it'll give you the default username and password right here for this router. Uh, default username is admin, the password is password. Okay? And it'll go in the default, it'll go into a detailed description on how to set up your router, uh, port forwarding, configurations, uh, even with the numbers at the end that you need to use, like uh, the starting port, ending port, UDP, TCP, uh, the service name that's appropriate for it. You can really name, name it whatever you want, but it's just, you know, uh, how neat you keep your configurations. All right, um, actually, and then. Actually, I should mention before any of you make mistakes, uh, this is not the IP that your friends will enter in when they try to connect to your computer. The IP that you really want to give them is this one right here. Uh, what is my IP.com? All right, so you go to that site and it will give you your IP address. This is the IP you give your friends to connect to your server. All right, so you grab that IP, you give it to them. Copy, paste. All right, so, but let's say you don't want to give them your IP address right you go to this place called dy dynds dot com <clears throat> alright here's the website uh, go to account uh, or oh, I'm already logged in but anyways make an account and uh, you go to add host and you make it whatever you want right here and you go well, whatever you give it thing a uh, DNS is basically like um, <clears throat> google.com uh, yahoo.com it's anything with a dot com or a dot net at the end of it alright so now that I got that there you just click create host and I'm not going to because I already have a host uh, go to services and then <clears throat> uh, well actually go to account because I know where I'm going from there my host and see instead of giving them this IP right <laughs> Uh, give them this and this is linked to this IP which is uh, my external IP that I was showing you earlier right here I'm gonna go back to it right here see it's the same exact number uh, so you just give them that to type in and uh, they will be linked to uh, that IP all right, that concludes the end of my tutorial. If you have any questions, just post them there. If you didn't get this, rewatch it. Uh, yeah, uh, take care, guys. Bye.